is good everybody welcome back to another my am toys video today we're going to be prepping for some wwe custom elite figures So after SummerSlam last night, guys, I woke up this morning and I went straight to Hobby Lobby and, uh, you know, I turned my mind on and I was like, you know what, we're going to make this Thanos Seth Rollins happen, we're going to make this purple AJ Styles happen, and I bought all my paints here, I got uh, all sorts of different colors, we did get some different purples, I feel like this purple is accurate for the gloves, I feel like this purple is probably better for the uh, kick pads and the tights for AJ Styles, we got some different golds in here for Thanos and Seth Rollins because I didn't really know what gold I wanted to do. We literally, I bought so many different golds, guys, just because I, I seriously could not figure it out, and I had to look over the colors multiple times. We got uh, the gray for AJ Styles. You know, the uh, there's a light gray in his attire. We got the blue for Seth Rollins' entrance shirt. We got, uh, what else? We got the Infinity Stones. We got the different metallic colors for those. And then, of course, I did, uh, again, I bought so many different golds, guys. I had to make sure that I got the right gold. I got some red duct tape. This has nothing to do with customs. This is just for the sold-out stage. I'm going to be using that to help make the uh, stage for our MDT pay-per-view sold out. And then we have some black duct tape for the same reason. I went ahead and grabbed it since I was already there. We got some super glue just in case I have to glue some stuff together as well as, you know, torso cracking and stuff I ran out. We got some detail brushes. We got some clothespins to hold it while it dries. We got all sorts of stuff. We're literally ready to take on these challenges. And then, of course, we have our figures that we're going to use. If we can just slide the paint out of the way right here. We have our figures that we're going to be using for our customs. We have the first figure right here. This is the Elite 52 Seth Rollins. And the reason I'm going to use this is because I have so many of them. And plus, I just think that if I remove all the decals, I'm going to be switching the knee pads out and switching these kick pads out. So do not worry about that. But uh, once we switch all that out, we'll have a full black Seth Rollins. And it'll be a great base for our Thanos or SummerSlam 2018 Seth Rollins. So what we're going to do is switch on these kick pads. And I'll be removing the graphics. These are Shawn Michaels. Uh, I would just remove the designs from this, but the lime green will get really thick and it'll take a lot of acetone to do, so I just think that removing the silver off of this would be a lot easier than the lime green off of the Seth Rollins. So that is what we're using for Seth Rollins. I think that uh, I'm going to have to go through my drawer and stuff to uh, see what we want to use for his entrance shirt. But I think for the most part, the Seth Rollins Elite 52 is going to take care of Thanos or Thanos, whatever you want to call him. Uh, I call him Thanos. I always get a hard time for calling him that. Everybody else calls him Thanos. But uh, right here we have Warbla, and I think I'm going to use this to make the belt for Seth Rollins just because I can get it a lot more accurate, make it look a lot better. I may even use this to make the shoulder pads for the Thanos entrance jacket or whatever, entrance vest for Seth Rollins. That is what we got right here. Maybe I can, you know, put some on the back, put some on the shoulders, and make that entrance coat. So that's what we're going to be using for that. As far as the knee pads go, um, we have two different AJ Styles right here because I don't know which one I want to use. I don't want to use this one because there's not a P1 logo on there, and I wanted to use a existing P1 logo so I wouldn't have to hand paint a P1 logo, and it sucks because the Elite 51 has the P1 logo on the opposite side that I need, so that's going to be... Um, difficult. I may just end up painting it anyway, just removing these designs and hand painting the whole thing just because that's probably what I'll have to do. I trust myself, but at the same time, I don't really want to do it. And also, I'll probably switch out these kick pads because uh, instead of having to come in and paint that blue black, I'll go with the one that's already black, switch the kick pads over to this one. And uh, we have knee pads as well. We're going to need knee pads for the AJ. That's what I'm going to use this Triple H Basic for. We have the open knee pads on there. For that, and then of course we have our uh, Miz right here. Miz has those same knee pads, the open ones, and I'm going to be removing these to switch on Seth Rollins because these are lime green and that'll get us nowhere. And then of course we have our uh, other knee pads I'm going to put back on the Miz. These are Elite 37 Seth Rollins knee pads. I think these will work great for that Miz just because 
He has this gray color in his attire, so I think that will work out perfectly. So we won't have a uh, knee padless Miz, and that's pretty much it. So um, I don't think we're going to be doing, you know, any customizing in this video. I, I don't think so. There's really not anything to show you guys, but I do plan on filming it. I'm going to film the process or do my best to film the process of making the, uh, the Seth Rollins and the AJ Styles. I think that the Seth Rollins will go first just because I'm more excited to do Seth. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'll be working on that all day. So once this video is posted, that's what I'm going to be working on, guys. So wish me luck on that. But uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the process and all the paints and stuff that we got right here today. Again, I am going to be filming it and hopefully being able to post up to you guys, you know, all of the work that we do. I don't know if I'll knock it out in a day or if it'll take me a couple of days, but I will let you guys know. I'll also be switching out that head. I do not like that head. We're going to be popping a different head scan on there. But um, besides that, yeah. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.